So we just had a user request come in and he asked, how do you dimension the arc length in Fusion Sketch? So initially we might think that is a very easy question to answer and it is and it isn't. In this tutorial, let's talk about the absolute beginner's way of measuring the arc length and why you need to know the advanced way. And in fact, there's two different methods that I'm gonna teach you. Stay tuned to the very end because method three, I'm gonna leave up to all of you. And if you correctly write that method into the comment section below, I will give you one year free of our aluminum tier membership on Patreon. And on Patreon, we have a ton of goodies that are going to heighten your skills in Autodesk Fusion. So first of all, let's get into the absolute basic way of measuring arc length. So I'm gonna create a sketch. Let's do this on any plane, doesn't really matter. We're gonna create an arc, and I'm gonna to go to the drop down menu and hover over arc and pick center point arc. And like I've explained in numerous tutorials before, uh, when we hover our mouse, it tells us each step along the way that we're supposed to do in order to complete using this tool. So the first is place center point. And there we go. I'm just going to place it at our origin. And then I'm going to place our start and end point right there. So here we go. We've got an arc and uh, there's an arc length. So how do we find it? Well, if we go up to inspect and the little measure right here with our ruler, I'm just going to click on that arc. And here we have it our arc length is 4.184 inches in this instance. And so if we ever wanted to use this length, if it's always gonna stay the same from this point on in, I could just go here, click to copy to keyboard, and we can use that arc length for other calculations. However, if we ever need to dynamically update this, then copying and pasting this value is not only tedious, but it might actually break our sketch. So, let me just show you this. I'm going to press D for dimension. Let's add a value here. And I'm just going to put in six inches right there for fun. And let's go back to our measure command. We're going to measure that arc. And here we have it. Our length is now a little bit smaller. And if I adjust this again, four inches, go back to our measure tool, click that arc. You can see that this is always changing. So this is our driving dimension right now. And as we change our driving dimension, well, then all our other dimensions change. And this right here is proof of it, our arc length. So if we want to reference this arc length in other equations easily, we need to know the advanced methods. And so I'm happy to teach you that. Let's go close and let's put in some lines here. And I'm just going to draw a line from the end point to the center point back to the end point right there. And let's turn these into construction lines. Remember the shortcut is X. We could also pick it and then go over here to our line type and toggle construction line off and on. So let's zoom on in here. And now I'm gonna pull up the parameters dialog window. And if it's not on our toolbar, we can just go modify. It's our last one. Hit the kebab menu right there, the three dots and go pin to toolbar. And then you should see it up there. Now let's go to parameters. I'm gonna bring this down here so I can see my sketch as I add parameters. And let's start adding some parameters here. So what I'd like to know, and as you can see in method one, as our design is entitled, we need to find the arc length based off of arc angle and radius. So let's create these parameters. So I'm gonna add a new one and I'm gonna type in arc angle. And let's make sure to change this to degrees because this is gonna be an angle. There we go. And I'm just going to type in 30. Why not? And then I'm also going to create another one. And this is going to be called our arc radius. And let's put in something like one inch. Now to make this more clear, I'm going to change the name of this to driving and our arc radius to arc radius driving as well. So driving dimensions. So in mathematics in general, if we know two aspects or two items within an equation, we can easily find the third. And so that's what we're talking about here. We have two driving, and then our last is going to be our arc length. And this we're going to call our driven. So it's based on the other two there, and we're going to keep this in inches. I'm just going to call it two for fun. Just now we're going to change this in a moment. But what we want to do is this driven dimension, this is the arc length. And as we showed, as we measured this arc length, we kept on getting a new dimension, but we want to easily reference that dimension right here. So let's apply the arc angle driving and arc radius driving dimensions to our current sketch. So let's go OK. 
And this right here, I'm going to double click that value and just type in arc radius driving, enter. Now we can zoom on in. And then I'll do the same thing with the angle right here. So let's click both of those lines and we can go to our angle and enter, enter. Perfect, awesome. So now we've got this little slice of pie and we can move this as well. This isn't going to be constrained and that's fine. We can just move that, no problem. But let's go back to our change parameters and we can change this now to 25 degrees. We can go to 100 degrees if we want. We can do anything we want. But again, we want to know the length of this arc. And every time we change a driving one, the arc length is going to change. So here is the value. And how we find this value is simple mathematics. I'll show you on the screen right now. I just asked Mr. Google the arc length formula and it gives this S equals R and then the central angle in radians. So this whole tutorial is not gonna be teaching you the mathematics behind this, but it's gonna teach you what we put into our parameters in order to find this. And if you'd like to know the mathematics a little bit more, well, please type that in the comment section below and maybe I'll make a uh, tutorial on that in the future. But here we go, this is the expression that we put for our arc length driven parameter. So our arc angle driving divided by rad and what does rad refer to this is actually a calculation into radians and then we multiply it by the arc radius driving so as soon as we enter that it turns black and that's great let's go enter and now here is our arc length value 0.524 let's prove it let's go okay let's go to measure and i'm going to click on that arc length and there it is our length is 0.524 so as we change this in our parameters, if we change any of the driving dimensions, well, our driven dimension is going to update. So let's change this to 45 degrees. And there we go, our length automatically adjusts, it grows. If we change our driving dimension, our radius value here, 1.25, you can see it grows as well. Before we proceed with the next method, I just wanted to thank the sponsor of this video, PCB Way. If you are in need of CNC machining, 3D printing, or even PCB and enclosure design, PCB Way has got you covered. I've been using their services for a while now and really like what they offer and their customer service. I've included a link to their website in the description below. Don't forget to check out their new design services page too. Thanks, PCB Way. So this is great, but what if we want to use the arc length as our driving dimension and we can drive something else. For example, we're gonna to go to method two here. We wanna find the arc angle based off of the arc length and radius. So if we change the arc length to a driving parameter and the radius to a driving parameter, how can we find the arc angle? Well, let's get into that. I'm gonna go over to method two and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So let's create a sketch, create it on any plane again, we're gonna do the exact same thing, create a center point arc, and let's put in these values as well. Well, before we do that, let's put in our lines, make sure that these are construction lines, and there we have it. So back to parameters, and we're gonna create almost the exact same ones, but here we're gonna create our driving dimensions first. So we're gonna create our arc radius driving parameter, and our arc length driving parameter. So these are gonna be the two driving parameters of our design, and as we change these, then what we're going to get out of it is a driven dimension, and this is going to be our angle. So I'm gonna put on the screen right now, again, how I figured this out is we can just go ask Mr. Google, and I typed in the search, calculate the degrees based off of arc length and radius. And it gives you the parameters right there, or it gives you the equation to input. So let's do that. I'm gonna create a new parameter. And this we're gonna call our arc angle driven parameter. And this is in fact called our central angle, but we're just gonna call it arc angle for simplicity. And this we're going to turn into degrees as well. And I'm just gonna specify it as 30 degrees right now, but this is where we're going to change it. So again, we can go into all the math here, and if you'd like to see the math, please comment that in the comment section below, and maybe I'll make a tutorial that on that in the future. However, here is the expression that you need to know in order to use these driving dimensions to find our arc angle. So let's do this, let's go to our expression, and here it is, open bracket, we're gonna go arc length driving, divided by, 
And then we're going to do a, an open bracket, 2 times pi, so pi is the expression we use for pi, times our arc radius driving. It turns black. We go OK. And now we've got something amazing here. So again, the things that we know, the things that we want to be our driving expressions, we're going to input right now, our radius, and then our length. We're not going to actually attach anything to here, but we are going to do the arc angle driven. So let's do this. We're going to create a radius value right there, and we're going to zoom on in and pick this angle, and we're going to call it our angle driven. Oh, I forgot one very important thing here. Sorry about that, everyone. So we're going to go over here and we're going to times 360. Make sure to do that or else we're in trouble. There we go. So 27 degrees is what we're looking for. So, okay. Now remember, as long as we update this and the arc length value, well, our arc angle is going to update. So here we go. Let's call this our driving. We're going to bump that up to 0.7. Let's go there. We can go OK. And now if I go inspect this value right there, 0.7 spot on. Let's go back and change this, I don't know, two inches. And you can see 0.7. Well, our angle gets a little smaller because as this gets a little bigger with our radius value, well, then our arc length matches this value. So 0.7, let's do it. Let's go to measure, pick that arc length and and we get the length right here, 0.7. So again, we can change any of this. I'm gonna drop this down to one inch, just like that. You can see the angle gets larger because it needs to do that in order to conform to the length of the arc. And again, we can change this, I don't know, 0.8. Let's just do this for fun. I'm gonna go eight, one, two, three, four, something like that. We can measure that arc and eight, one, two, three, four. We can change the precision here and you can see there it is. So hang on just for two more seconds to learn some more details about method number three and make sure to put that in the comment section below. But have you learned anything based off of this tutorial? Can you utilize it in any of your designs? Please let us know in the comment section below. If you have benefited, please like this tutorial and please consider subscribing. Now, to win a free year of our aluminum tier membership on Patreon, here's what you need to do. Method number three. It's going to be almost identical to the two methods that you just learned. However, it's going to be this. You want to find the arc radius based off of the arc length and arc angle. And if you can put all the parameters down below, the almost the same three lines of code that we see here. But again, you're going to have the arc radius is going to be your driven dimension and your arc length is going to be driving and your arc angle is going to be driving. So if you're able to put that in the comment section below, the first person that gets it right, well, I'll contact you and give you a free year membership. Check out our other tutorials. We're in the process of making a course on a four stroke RC engine right now. So if you'd like to check that out, that would be great. Until then, thanks for tuning in and hope you continue to learn with the Learn It channel.